Good morning. Today I'll be making a ruler and compass construction in the Poincare model of the uh, hyperbolic plane. This will be the same construction that uh, lies under uh, Escher's circle limit 1 print. Now, a uh, word about hyperbolic geometry. Wolfgang Bolyai wrote to his son Genois when he learned that Genois was studying hyperbolic geometry, and Wolfgang said, For God's sake, please give it up. Fear it, no less than the sensual passion, because it too may rob you of your health, peace of mind, and happiness in life. <laughs> hyperbolic geometry is, uh, is pretty crazy. If this were the actual hyperbolic plane, all the triangles that I'm about to construct would be the same size, and all the lines would be perfectly straight. As you can see, uh, these lines are curved, and in fact, in this projection of the infinite hyperbolic plane onto this disk, uh, straight lines in the hyperbolic plane either become diameters of the disk, or circles which intersect the disk orthogonally, which means they make 90 degree angles at the intersection. Now Escher himself um, corresponded with the mathematician Coxeter to um, figure out how to do this construction. And uh, the key point here is that any circles that intersect inside the disk and are orthogonal to the disk, their centers lie along a common line. And that's really, uh, that and symmetry is mostly enough to construct uh, all the way down to um, where Escher stopped. And he wrote to Coxeter to see what the next step was, and Coxeter gave him a diagram which showed the line on which the new center lie, um, but didn't show how to get the center. Uh, Heimgum and Strauss in an article, well, was quoted uh, in an article that I link in the description as giving a way to find uh, the center for the next step. So I hope you enjoy the construction, and thank you for watching.